Welcome to Abject Deal Episode 6. Not going to bother with the Star Wars reference. Star Wars was a major production, and speaking of major film productions, here I have with me from Old York and from Farber Films, Blake Farber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blake, you've had a lot of success lately. Um, your career has taken off. Uh, i got to commend you. Um, you've worked hard. You know, you didn't go to film school, did you? I dropped out of high school. You dropped out of high school, and you just pursued. You said, this is what I want to do, and you pursued it. Save money. Do you think that you're an example? You think a lot of kids are going to follow what you did like that in a sense that I can't afford to be buried in debt the rest of my life paying for college. I'm just going to figure it out myself and learn from the bottom up. What do you think of that? Yeah, but the only problem is that the uh, people nowadays, you know, their parents pay for everything. They get them a new camera, they get them this, so therefore they're a filmmaker, artist, graphic designer, blah, 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 and they don't know what actually that shit is. Just because they have a nice camera and good equipment to make you shit. Yeah, so. Uh, so Blake is not allowed legally to discuss who he recently filmed the video for but we'll say this her husband is a douchebag and I think uh, he's no, gay like and no, she is a no, beard for him no, fuck no. that guy he like is a piece of guy. shit good guy you would say that wouldn't you <laughs> well, Blake can't well, talk why, why about he, why is he a piece of shit Blake can't talk about this stuff but let's just say I think he's doing well for himself I think you've made a lot of money lately and why I think that because you were able to hire a security team to come here and inspect the area to make sure there were no tables. How could you afford that if you weren't uh, successful? So congratulations, you're getting away tonight with not going through a table. Yeah, I called ahead of time. For tonight. I called ahead of time and said no table. He hired table a zone. team to make sure nobody table set zone. up a table. Yeah. So. You make a shirt? Huh? This is not a table-free zone. Maybe we will. <laughs> Maybe we will. But you know what? I want to ask it. So what's uh, going on with Old York these days? Looking for a label. Uh, we have a new album. We have a. It's it's a good album. I'll, I'll play it for you if you have. And uh, we're looking for a label, then tours and stuff like that, mostly outside of uh, America, Europe, Europe, perhaps South America, try to do Asia. Just to get out of here, cause you, you know how it is. It's like, yeah, it's hit or miss. Um, but our old label is kind of dead. They're not really doing much, and and then we're looking for a new one. You know how the record industry is, or anything even small, big or small, it always, it always sucks. So we're still looking, and then I'm just gonna go up to people's faces and just, I'm gonna be like those hip hop guys in like Union Square. Yo, you like hip hop? Yo, you like hardcore? You like hardcore? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you know what? that has worked for somebody we know. I'm not gonna mention him. Rappers? I don't know. Rappers? What is rappers? Oh, rappers. he sells. He sold. He sells uh, your shit. I, I, it's Top Secret Park. <laughs> he, for sells $50. he sells your yeah. demo. He sells your demo back to you. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, we need some. So let's talk about the Lava Let video. Oh yeah. Tell this me. has been controversial. Okay. Awesome. I will give you my opinion on it. Yeah, I like to hear. I think. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like the song. I don't like the video. It's kind of like to me, it's a picture of what New York has become for people like us. It's like now it's all pretty and happy. And it's not edgy. It's watered down and soft. Right. Okay. And it's kind of that version of a song from a different era. That's now. Well, well, sounds what uh, what New York looks like, what Manhattan looks like now. Okay, let's take that a step back. The people in the, the band who record that song, first off, they're good friends with Pro Mags, everything. They approve the song through them. I'm not quite sure they all did. Not, okay, not all of them. We know who did. We know, yeah, yeah. And didn't he that, start the band, by the way? Yeah. Does that matter? Uh, him and Paris. Okay. Paris yeah. loves the song and loves the video. Good for him now, of course, Mike DeJohn. Um, now, in Lava Let. Yeah, and, and various other old hardcore people who were in New York at that time, hanging out at Gussie's, playing at Gussie's years ago. And, you know, sometimes you just kind of, you, you grow up and you try something new. Because everybody's been covering that song for the last 25 years, same style. And it's cool, something completely opposite. But and thank not? God it's not from some hipster assets, it's from people we know. We, See, we grew up watching the bands. But why not write something original? I mean, that oh, they have tons of original. Bring me to another. That's the next question. But I just want to say, I'm saying I don't like it. 
a lot of people hate it, and I'm saying a lot of people will sit, tell you they hate it, but then if you put it on camera, they're like, 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 they're Hey, he earned his place in hardcore history. Crown of Thorns, of course, Breakdown, we know. Yeah, and he's a very underrated guitar player from and he's, that era. And he's actually recording right now with his new band, Sainam. I've heard about that. He's recording right now with the guy. That's something different. It's something different. Well, it's, it's hard. I'd you know? love to have him on the show, but yeah. I don't like the lot of what thing. That's what was my next question? Yeah. What do you think, I mean, in general, music yeah. in general nowadays? Right. Everybody's like redoing something. Or what the fuck? Where, how come we haven't seen any original music in the past 20 years? What do you think? Uh, well, now it's YouTube generation where if something is... This predates YouTube. Well, yeah. Okay, well, now. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> No, that's cool. Uh, so, uh, um, so now, like, music, okay, mu uh, music movies, there's always a, a cover in movies, too. There's every remakes every fucking of every movie. Shit movie ever. Yeah, because Hollywood movie. doesn't want to take risks, neither the mu music industry. So, why release something that could start some new, start a trend? They don't want to start something new, they want to do something old because they know they made past successes on it and make a quick buck. You know, so, that's why they're not giving it. There's no more, like, Stanley Kubrick, there's no more, like, you know, different upcoming filmmakers that really changed like the, the, new, the Scorsese from the years ago where they did something new and did something like aggressive and edgy they don't want to take risks like that so they lose too much money now with music an, a way to break in being Lavalette being that they're a hardcore band that they hang out they tour no no being that no not they're them not being that they're the band members a hardcore band not has been one person and they, you know what's a way to branch out into music that you like and tell your friends hey let's, let's try this they have their own stuff they have their own style and they actually had a band before which is more like a hardcore band like more of like a post hardcore band what was the name of that band that I was forgot. there was a girl singing uh, for them uh, oh god uh, I like that band actually they were yeah, I right. forgot what they were see, called, god damn they, it. They, they, they played for like oh, three, four years. And Ray no one, Green was in it? Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, I forgot and, and, the name. But see, no one cared and everything. They're like, oh, this sucks, man, this sucks. Like so then they say, you know what, let's try something different. So they made up a riff and stuff like that, and it, it was just like, whoa, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, like pop and everything. So, uh, I don't want to ruin this, I'll be back. You'll, you'll talk to him. Uh, yeah. I will. I'm you'll, looking you'll forward to that in the next couple weeks. By the way, next week, real quick, Gussie's Larry left. He's going to be doing a benefit show for Occupy Wall Street. What do you think about that, by the way? Occupy Wall Street? I say just, that's bringing it back. That's bringing kind of old New York back. People in the street talking and stuff like that, hanging out. That's, you know, I, I just, uh, even if it doesn't do anything directly, it's the fact that people are obnoxious and people are there, people are covering stuff. Blake Farber, how you doing? Uh, hey, is that my pick? Oh, I'll I'll I will never use your picks. Yeah, you did. Actually, I remember. Well, I gave, like, what kind of picks do you use? Uh, the yellow. Yeah, I can't say. I'll never use them again. I'm going to conclude this because the band is where the autistics are going on. Great show tonight. Oh, there's so much to talk about. I am going to conclude this by saying again, congratulations on the film stuff. And again, you, you decided that you did it on your own and you made it happen. And like I said, I think a lot of kids may take inspiration from it. They who can't afford to go to college just because you can't afford it. You don't have your parents don't paying your it. way doesn't mean you need it. You can do it on your own. You can study and work hard on your own. And uh, congratulate you for that. And again, you are going through a table. Your success has afforded you to hire this? bodyguards to go? scour the area to make sure there's no particle board tables. We, but it's gonna happen. Let's do it mid November. Nothing, there's nothing you can do about mid -November, it. Mid November, can we do it? I'm not table? telling you when. It's gonna happen. Because, no, and it's not gonna because I'll be I'll, I'll be in Brazil then, so I'll be gone. Well, who the fuck says we can't find you there? Oh, you, you, you have your, your crew there? Yeah, but you don't know where they are. Oh, shit. Again, you have a good <laughs> day. Enjoy your time. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy Pleasure. your time Pleasure before you go through the you. table. Yeah. And again, we'll see you next week with Larry Left here. BlakeForward.com. <laughs> there you go.